Hey everyone, welcome to Call One Channel. In this video I want to show you how to install Mobox Windows Emulator on your Android device. I don't want to beat around the bush, so let's go for tutorial. First, you need to know what your phone processor and GPU it has. You can use the CPU Z app to see all details about your phone. And if your CPU is a Snapdragon, and if its GPU Adreno is 610 or 616 and higher, you can use Windows Emulator, because Mesa Turnip driver is needed for graphic layer, which is done by DXVK. If your GPU renderer is Mali, I have to say unfortunately your phone is not supported, unless you want to play old games from 2000s. You may ask, how do I know if my phone supported or not? Well, there are many applications that will show it, such as CPU Z application, in a solo app, and as you see it mentions all details of your phone. For me, it is a Snapdragon 870, and more important, it is higher than Adreno 616, so it is supported. I use CubeMap test to see if the XVK works without issue. Use this program and see if the XVK text appear in the corner or not. Well, let's go back to the Mobox installation tutorial. The first thing you need to do is open your browser and search for Mobox GitHub. Then go to the Mobox page, scroll down the page and look for the installation section. There are three applications there. It says that you have to install them. Termox is the main program that runs Mobox inside it. X11 server is programmed to display the Mobox screen and the input bridge program is controller over layer on the screen. After installing these programs, copy and paste this command into the Termox program, then an installation will be restarted. After a few minutes, two options will appear. One is Box 86 or NoWow, and the other is WoW64. What is the difference? In the new Mobox version or WoW64, the 32-bit mechanism is removed, and the 32-bit games are run by the 64-bit system, which means there is no more Box 86. It's totally useful for next Snapdragon generation like Adrenal 7 series. But for here, choose what you like. Some games may run in the old version, and some games may run in the new version. For here, I prefer the old version. So I enter the number one, and wait for complete installation. After some time, the Windows emulator will finish successfully, and you only need to run the Termox app and type Mobox command. The menu has various functions, like the start bind, settings, manage package, Bind container, change box build, and switch to Val64. Before running the machine, I go to the settings to show you configuration of Mobox. In the first option, there are dynamic settings that help to optimize and increase the speed of the game. Before running the game you desire to play, try the dynamics in the order of the fastest speed. For first, try dynamic 45. If it didn't work, try 4. If not, go for 35. Or 3, 2, and 1. Number 1 is probably the most compatible, but the slower one. I know these settings are a bit complicated, so I recommend getting help from other users in the Windows emulation servers and communities. You can find your game settings also there. The second option is Perfix and Easing, which dramatically increases the speed of the game, which is enabled by default. If your phone is rooted, select the third option. My phone is rooted, so I did. The third option is the XPK settings, where you can limit the max frame rate to whatever you want. If you don't like your phone get hot and battery be drained, limit it to 60 or 30 FPS. And to fix screen thirring, limit it to 60 and lower, or increase the screen refresh rate to 120. The fourth option is system settings, where you can change the resolution, the language of the container, or changing the XPK hot. After entering the resolution, you can enter a size according to the aspect ratio. Here it is 1280 by 720, by default. I choose another resolution. The sixth option is for users whose phone is rooted, which of course I do not recommend rooting phone, because it's void the warranty and lower the security. Also I have to mention here, I'm not responsible if you break or damage your device. Do it on your own risk. The first option closes all apps running in the background to free more RAM, and the other option is OM adjuster to prevent Termux force close due to the low RAM, which is a very important and necessary option prevent many games from crashing and stopping during playing. So every time you run Termox, select it before the starting wine. If you have higher RAM like 12GB, you will have less chance of Termox crash. The next option is current wine container. You can change the wine version if the game doesn't boot up. One of the possibilities is the wine version. I choose the default. Keep in mind that to change the resolution, Termox is not enough. You also need to change the size in X11 settings. Indeed, both should be the same size as there are a variety of selectable resolution. There are a lot of features that you can set in preference. 
Also enable the show mouse click helper overlay option to display mouse on the screen. Selecting a start point will start the Movox simulator. Of course, it takes a little time to set up for the first run, but next time it will run immediately. Then you will see similar environments like Windows. Well, to be honest, it's not a real Windows, not even close, but just a Linux system that allows you to play most games thanks to Wine, Box Translation, Turnip, XPK, and more. But overall, Linux is a winner for emulation thing. Use the SR option at the bottom of the page to change the DXPK version. Some games run only on certain DXPK, so don't neglect this. Here I choose version 1.10, and for the turnip, I stick with the latest driver. The emulators use the 4 powerful cores of device. Sometimes not all 4 cores are activated. So go for a start menu, unlock for task manager, run it, and in the process section, right click on TFM and make sure that all four cores are active, so the game speed does not decrease. Remember to check the FM cores every time when Movox is started. Again, I use CubeMap to show if the GPU is working well. Yes it is, it shows the XVK, which means GPU is in use properly. That's it. Congratulations, you made it. Now you can play Windows games on your Android device. If you have any question, let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you want to support me, Hit the sub button and share with you with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.